every place we turn, coverage, coverage, coverage. Today, the average home has five radios or more, and that's not counting the car radios. Every place we turn. What were we told when TV was introduced in its heyday, 1951? What were we told about the radio industry? It would decline and go away. What's happened to the radio industry? Ten times the stations. Ten times. So what we begin to see is every place we turn, media, information generated by exponential population growth, a nanosecond at a time begins to fill in all the spaces of our lives, even when we're away, even when we're on vacation, even when we think we're taking a break. And then what do we do? We go ahead and get a Blackberry, we become a Crackberry, and all of a sudden that little machine rules us. And all of a sudden, we can't even go to the bathroom anymore without wondering who's calling us, who's sending us a message. Ladies, you probably don't know this, but when you go into a lot of the uh, restrooms of the major hotels and convention centers around the country and the world, today, invariably, there will be one gentleman at the urinal who's engaged in a cell phone conversation. It's a way of being more efficient, more productive. Oh, yes. You can't trick your consciousness into believing you're an effective time manager by doubling up and tripling up your activities. When you double up and when you triple up, what it tells me is you don't know what's important. Yes, there are some things for which you can multitask. You can eat while you watch TV. You won't quite taste the food. You won't quite see the show as if you would either item singularly, but you can do that. You can drive down the road listening to the radio or a CD because only driving requires your sharp attention.